don't don't take me serious like that. Don't ever think I'm flirting with you, honestly, because you will find yourself in heartbreak. What's that quote we saw the other day? Don't mess around and flirt with me, and then you fall in love because I won't. Let me tell you something. I'm calling you babe, sweetheart, darling. It's just part of my vocabulary. The same way feckless and egregious is part of my vocab. So is that. Bait so crazy, turning a nigger insane. Crippling all of your games, please say if you're feeling no way, darling. Guys, hi guys. Welcome back to our channel, Two Babes on a Pod. Two babes on a pod. How have you guys been? How have you been? Um, I've been well. <laughs> why, why are you laughing? Well? Yes. <laughs> I've been well. I feel like I should switch it up from saying I'm fine. Mm. Even though they mean the same thing. It's different vocabulary, you know? You know, broaden your vocabulary. Yeah, period. I know some people have an issue with that wide vocabulary. You know, I get told, yeah, that um, <laughs> I use, wi- I use like, a wider vocabulary or I use quote-unquote big words because I've gone to uni bro i was hearing I the same thing when i was in uni as Why well you guys know these words? <laughs> let's talk about it because well, i'll be saying words like tumultuous people egregious. be like why well, you're not gonna lie my friends use egregious oh. i guess it's just your peeps <laughs> <laughs> oh i used one word the other day feckless Oh, I do love feckless. She loves a good feckless. I love feckless. I think it sounds hilarious. I can't remember what word it was. And my friend looked at me and he said, Rachel, don't use those words around me. I said, sorry. You just learn the words as you go, guys. Honestly, you just have like a word of the day. I used to have a word of the day. Mm-hmm. And I only did it for one day. <laughs> she said, she said, I used to have a word of the day. But I only did it for one day. Yeah, when you say used to, it makes it sound like it was, it was a, a progress. Yeah. I just, I realised, I'll just take these words from somewhere else. Because it meant that I'd have to figure out a way to actually have a word of the day. You There's an app for that. Oh. I mean, at the time, I didn't have storage like that, so. Type on the internet, word of the day. Mm. Maybe I'll say it again. No, oh, you yeah. won't. No, you won't. <laughs> I know her too well, guys. Anyways, how have you been? Let me tell you guys something. I'm so sorry. <laughs> this babe, I, I'm asking her how she's been. This babe has been working back to back to back to back to front to back to front and then back to back again. Crazy. And then she'll come and tell me, I'm so tired. You've worked seven days straight with no break. And guess who's been telling her to take a break? Me. But she doesn't listen to me. You Luckily... Luckily, she's off today. She was off yesterday, guys. Let me tell you something. It took a lot to, to get her to take her some time off. Do you know what? I just think it's crazy how you're saying all of this. But Here we in the go. same breath that you're <laughs> going to send me a new restaurant to go to. In the same breath that you're going to send me, hey, this is a trip that I think we should take. Where does she think the money's going to fall out of? Huh? The sky, brother? Because if the money was falling out of the sky... Does the Lord not provide? He does, but he also Won't says he you, you shouldn't be lazy. <laughs> that doesn't mean... Um, you're actually not supposed to work on Sundays. He got me there. <laughs> <laughs> got like, there. If, you, if you really want to work back to front to front to back, work up to Saturday and take the Sunday off, brother. Brother, uh. I What's that? Honestly, it's not. It was, and it's, it's not let me tell you work. something about the hours she works. No. These are stupid, silly, stupid, silly hours. That's what you call egregious. Let's she talk about it. Too. No, I wouldn't. 7 30 a.m. until the brink of dawn. Not even the brink of dawn. 7 30 a.m. until 10 30 p.m. Pim. Let's talk about it. Actually, let's not even talk about it. I'm <laughs> sick of it. <laughs> I've had it up to here and back. Um, so to the babes. Oh my gosh, should we call our support is that? The babes. Anyways. We'll <laughs> I hear it, the babes. Two What's babes on a pod yeah. talking to the babes. And Two. it's um unisex. Yeah, because I call, I call my guy friends babes. 
Sorry, I want you to finish, then we'll get into it. <laughs> I'm cool, my guy friends, babes. I'm cool, my female friends, babes. So, the babes, period. Go on, what you just said? <laughs> Guys, there's been a lot circulating around the internet for a while. Is calling your male friend babe like does that mean I've hear I'm hearing that these guys think that means you like them that you're flirting? Um, like, let me tell yeah. you something. Let me tell you something for like, free as well. Like, I could tell you for a cent, sir, babe, darling, darling love, honey, don't ever <laughs> don't, don't take me serious like that. Don't ever think I'm flirting with you honestly because you will find yourself in heartbreak. What's that quote we saw the other day? Don't mess around and flirt with me and then you fall in love because I won't. Let me tell you something. I'm calling you babe, sweetheart, darling. It's just part of my vocabulary. The same way feckless and egregious is part of my vocab, so is that. Because it's diabolical for you to think that I am. Since when was calling someone sir? That's what you call your teacher. Like You flirt with your teachers now. It's actually, some of you are. <laughs> <laughs> Some of oh. you are. So I saw a TikTok the other day mm-hmm. and then it was like, um, I want to sleep with my history teacher again. I again? said, brother. Uh-huh. Slow down. That's uh, that's a that's crime. I, I'm scared. That's, that's a crime on his behalf and that's just wrong on your behalf. <laughs> again. You're being taken advantage of. It's like abuse of power or something. It is it's not something. It is. Oh, I don't. I don't know if that was the right. She's jail worthy. Jail time. Lock him up. Behind bars for real. Under the jail. <laughs> but yeah, like I've really been seeing it a lot. It was, it was sent to a GC on Instagram, and then my other friend said it, mm. and I'm like, No. To be fair, I had to ask my male friends about it. Like I asked my best friend, and I asked one of my other friends, and I was like. It's calling. So I asked them. I was like, "When I call you, darling, or I love a good darling." Yeah, when I call you, like sweetheart or darling, like, do you feel the type of way? I remember when he was like, "No," nah, because he speaks the same way to me. So it's the pattern. My other friend was like, "He doesn't feel the type of way because he knows the context I'm using it in. Mm-hmm. Like, he knows that this is really just platonic friends." So it's like the fact that he's got he's gotten used to me calling him darling babe mm. and so on because it's like he's close like I just say at the end of every sentence. So maybe it's a thing at the start. So when these people don't really know us too much, it catches them off guard. Yeah, until they realize we just call everyone. Yeah, right? I hope so because honestly. Yeah, I hope I'm not sending I'm those mixed. <laughs> At all, I don't even know how to. I'm heavy on the I don't even know how to. <laughs> I don't even know how to. Honestly, like me, I don't think flirt. that's a skill that I have. Me and flirting are like oil and water. We just <laughs> trying to put two positive magnets together. They don't <laughs> attract. <laughs> if you tell me I'm flirting with you, there's something wrong. If you tell me I'm flirting with you, I just tell be sarcastic. I say oopsie daisies. JK, just kidding. You know, why are you taking me serious? Like, <laughs> you'd be amazed to know how many people flirt with their friends. How many of you, actually, do you know, that's a question for you guys. How many of you guys that have boy best friends, girl best friends, how many of you guys like each other? Uh, hmm? Answer the question in the comments if you have the chest. If you're not a punk. Okay, we're going to put this bit. If, on Tiki Talkie. This is going to the TikTok. On the Tiki Talkie. If you're not a punk, let me know how many of you guys with girl best friends or guy best friends, how many of you guys have had a crush on them? And it was like. How many of you still like them? Playing the long game. Because I know, I know quite a few of you like the long game. Let me tell you something. Oh. Cut it out. <laughs> Cut it out. Because I can tell you something for free. I don't like my boy best friend. Because you guys are making it hard. Do you like yours? No. Tell them. I love him long time, but not like that. Let me tell you guys something. Mine called me today. (laughs) (laughs) Mine called me today from the far islands or wherever he is. He's in the countryside somewhere. Mm. Talking, talking, talking. 
he I said he said oh i'll call you tomorrow he's no he said I'll, I'll talk to you later i said all right here's me saying bye he said bye love you i said since when did we do that? We don't talk to each other like that. Don't introduce diabolical things to the friendship. Oh my God. I'm sorry. I don't say that at the end of any phone call mm. unless you're like family. And I don't even say that to yeah, family. Exactly. The only family I say that to is my uncle in America mm. or my aunt in America. That's it. It threw me. I sat on the phone gobsmacked for a couple minutes. <laughs> um, My best friend told me that he loved me and I said, oh... And he was like, Rachel, that's why I don't show you any affection. I said, <laughs> I said sorry. Sozzles. Sozzles is a diabolical. That's nasty work. Let me tell you something. <laughs> I said, Sozzles, like... Every time I say Sozzles, no one takes me seriously. I wouldn't take you seriously. <laughs> either. What the freak is Sozzles, brother? It means I'm sorry. <laughs> no, you know when I sent you Sozzles, I just be like, ah, sorry. No, same. But they don't need to know that. <laughs> Anyways, the question, before we actually went on that tangent, the question was, how have you been? And I've been fine. I'm so glad. Tired, but fine. Actually. Tired, she said. I'm a liar. Um, hay fever has been kicking my behind. Sorry to all you hay fever bandits. Bandits? Hay <laughs> fever bandits is nasty work, by the way. <laughs> Um, hey, he has been kicking my behind. Um, life is just, you know, life is really life, and you know. Uh, but you're free from the shackles of uni. Yes, it's been a month. You know, I forgot. You know, after you submit your assignments, you know, you have to actually go through the process of getting the results back. Yes. Um. <laughs> it. Honestly, left my mind up until last week. Yeah, I think I forgot until I got the email. Yeah, and we have, I have a group chat with some of the girls, and they're like, oh, the results are out. And I said, oh, yeah. Is your dissertation result out? Yeah. What'd you get? I don't know. I haven't looked at it yet. Nice. I know the God I serve, and I know I've passed. Won't he do it? Period. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> On top of, sorry, going back to how we were talking about a vocab, let me tell you something about Daniel and I. We are trendsetters. And this might sound conceited, might sound arrogant, we're trendsetters. Why? Because every person we come into contact with, they steal our vocabulary. They be taking our lingo every like it's them. Time. Thieves, I'm telling you. Friend, Thieves. Friend who's Daylight robbery. I've seen, <laughs> I've seen it for the last seven days. He's the same period. Period. Let me tell you something about period. These people hear you say period and be like, huh? And they'll say it themselves. Even stick their tongue out with you. I started saying, um, I started saying to him, oh, I've got a Hedachi. He said, Rachel, what are you saying? I've got a Hedachi. Come on. He said, are you talking about a headache? Yeah. (laughs) Started saying it. Let me say one thing that I'll never hop on to about that Rachel's does though. Rachel be like, I need a jacket. Period. I'm a like, jacket. I don't have a jacket with me. Bro, you'll add an extra sounds. It's just a jacket. A jacket? That's just the only one I won't Plus hop on to. Don't give it a little bit of a... <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I think it does. Jacket just gives a little bit of a... My friends stay stealing my lingo. I'm sorry, I'm not going to do it with you. Oh, <laughs> boring. Come on. Let's dance. Let's, Let's dance. dance. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I've been a nasty girl. I've been... No, I haven't, though. That's haven't, the thing. honestly. So I don't think I'll be doing no, that I'm TikTok because I haven't. Nasty is, that's me. Hey anyway, guys, on to other serious topics because obviously this has been a bit of a giggly fifteen minutes. Yeah, because we haven't we haven't spoken to you guys in a while. What what's been going on? What's actually happening? We, um, go on. Sorry, I forgot I was gonna say go on. <laughs> what's been going on is that whole um, what's that? That's that guy called Power, not called Power from um, Power. Michael. Michael Rainey. I think his I don't. He doesn't look like a Michael to me. 
I think that's why I keep forgetting his name. I think he looks like a headline. I don't know what I was going to say. Anyways, point of the matter is, I think we should stop laughing because it's quite serious. Oh, yeah. That boy got essayed on live stream. Yeah, he got groped on, what's his name, Ty Lil? Ty, Ty Lil, yeah. Yeah, his sister. And everyone keeps saying Lil Sister, Lil Sister, even though that's his younger sister. I think we should change the, the title from Lil Sister to Younger Sister because she's grown. She's our age, she's 22. She's what? She's 22. Wow. That's what they've been saying. So she has sense. Yeah, and they were like, to do that on live on stream, you're a predator. Sorry. In general, what? In front of the children? Look her up. And so people were trying to... Um, I've seen a bit of discourse about it. Mm-hmm. Not on... Well, there's been discourse about it on Twitter, but I'm not really on the Twitter. I haven't been on Twitter in a while. Yeah. That scares me. But, but I saw a bit of discourse about it, and um, someone was like... Uh, you could tell he liked it. Look at the smile on his face. He, that man clearly looked uncomfortable. He looked uncomfortable. And I don't know if people know, but... When I'm uncomfortable, I start, I start laughing. laughing. You want to beat me so bad. <laughs> Get out of there. Yeah, so it's like he looked like he just didn't know what to do. And it, to me, it seemed like he didn't want to just react a lot. Yeah. You're on stream at the end of the day. Mm. And there's kids in the room too. And then I think another person... So you know how he put out the whole statement? Mm -hmm. And it was like, um, if roles were reversed, then some, some, something... It would have been a bigger thing. It would have been a bigger thing, or like people would have been taking it more seriously. And you've got people talking about how... Someone said he's gay. Yeah, I don't know. Because he didn't like it, and I didn't understand that. That's a crazy narrative. And I also says... I think someone's like... Uh, um, it doesn't matter what uh, what happens to a man; they're always gonna find a way to blame women. But but a woman is the a one that the abused her him. What? Cause cause he says something like, "Oh, um, if roles were reversed, then da 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 da." I can't remember. It was a weird thing, and so I was, I was just like, "But what he's saying is true. If if he had done what she had done to him." on live in front of children his career would have been finished the second mm-hmm. that that live that live was over mm-hmm. not even the second that the live was over the second that he did that on the live yeah someone would have screen recorded and boom and i think even 50 cent must have said something like 50 cent said um it was petty uh, him uh, taking it him making it legal is a drag that's what yeah. he basically said he said damn but 50. 50 cent you were the same person that was raging back and forth about p diddy 50 Cent talking about taking things legally when he was a snitch when he was younger is a bit crazy, don't you think? Don't come for me if you ever come across this 50. But, yeah, so... I don't want the beef. (laughs) (laughs) But, um, people... Like, I just think it was, like, in agreement with what other people are saying. It's like, 50 Cent, you just don't like P. Diddy. Mm -hmm. It's not that you don't like what P. Diddy did. You just don't like P. Diddy. Which is why you were going so hard. (laughs) <laughs> for um Rachel has never said that. Let me tell you something. No, I do. I just say it in my head sometimes. Sometimes, sometimes I like to say it. Sometimes I don't. I just you know, don't ever think you know me because you don't. Wow! Thank you so much. What's this podcast about? <laughs> what am I here for? Thank you so much. I'm not talking about you, general. I'm not even going to get into it right now. What? Just fake friends. Go on, go on. Guys, guys, I'm tapped in. I'm so woke. Oh, come Guys, on. if you're not woke, wake up. I realise I'm part of, I don't know where the cameras are, but the cameras need to be right backed there. out. No, no, nah, nah, I set this one up. I'm talking about I the hidden cameras. The, the cameras are around. Rachel is a paid actress in my life and she, she admitted it. This is the Truman Show, just with what, a different name. I don't know what level of delusion this babe is. In. She admitted, and she admitted it well. <laughs> she let me know. She said, yeah, don't you really think it's suspicious the way we became friends? Don't you think it was a bit fast? <laughs> rare, rare, rare. I, I said, oh my that. God, exactly. That's hilarious. And I, I said, I'm woke, that. you fake friend. <laughs> I said, tell the script writers, tell the script writers to change up the narrative because this storyline is getting a bit old. Make me rich already. What if your mum is the scriptwriter? Mm. 
Hmm? What if she's the producer? Have you never thought My mum being a script writer with some of the things I've gone through is a bit scary, don't you think? <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit scary, don't you think? That's oh. a woman that would hate her child. You know, I was speaking to us. What just happened? I glitched. What is going on? Oh, Rachel does this. Rachel does this. She doesn't finish her sentences. I've got a couple friends that don't finish their sentences and it ooh, it enrages me sometimes. No, because I've started and then that Who cares about the star? I just had like a brain fart and it's really bothering me. I don't care, I don't judge you. What? <laughs> finish your sentence. I was gonna say one time I asked my mum, I said to her if you really wanted to, you could forge my day of birth. Like, you could forge my birth certificate. Yeah. Yeah, because the day that I'm born, cool. But it's not like the hospital takes all that documentation to the registry office. You, the mother, does. So you can just go and lie to them and be like, she was born on the 25th of December, just so you don't have to get me more than one present for my birthday. Oh, my gosh. And she laughed at me. And I said, it's just like when some people come to this country, they change their birthday on the yeah, passport. I think is what it is but back to reality guys sorry sorry for that um it's the adhd uh, i can't keep that in there i mean you could i don't have adhd i'm diagnosed um <laughs> sorry guys to divert the conversation back to what we we're talking about i think it's scary how in this generation or just in the world that we live in now a man can get essayed and the first thought is to question his sexuality because he doesn't like it. Very, very scary. Is, I saw someone say, oh, well, if she was pre, he wouldn't have press charges. No, it's still essay. That man didn't consent to anything. That's actually beyond ridiculous. And, and then it goes to show, because a lot of men are the ones that are saying these things as well, and it yeah. goes to show why a girl would be in the forest with a bear. See, if, it, remember when, so if you ever see me fighting in a forest with a grizzly bear, <laughs> help the bear. When we went to, what's it called? Daniela and I recently, well, it was not recently now, like three weeks ago? When did we go to the Three, two. It was two weeks ago? Yeah. Brother, life is moving faster than I can breathe. <laughs> um, yeah, we went to the theatre, mm. the theatre, and we watched... Um, for all the boys who have considered suicide when the hue gets too heavy, I remember one of them... His problem with why, like, I think his girlfriend and a certain song was playing, and he got essayed by his cousin. Or no, like, he was aunt. It was his aunt. Because mm. his cousin? aunt, his aunt had a boyfriend. It was his cousin, but she was just young, old, a bit older than. I her. think he was his aunt. It was a family member that had essayed him when he was younger, and it's like. When when they brought up the topic, it was like everyone was all the boys were talking about what age they lost their virginity and so he was so just like nine. He was like I lost mine at nine, and everyone's like, that like it was like I think on the playground it seems like oh you lost your virginity at nine, but when you really deep it like no nine year old should be getting up to them sort of activity. You shouldn't like, even know what's going on. Really and truly, I don't think fifteen year olds should be getting up to that behavior, but that's not me to pass judgment on. It's actually not. But that's how you get down as they get down, in it? But. And I think it's quite sad that guys will go through this and they won't say anything because they're embarrassed about how people would view them. Yeah. Like, I feel like it's worse for girls because girls will be like, oh my gosh, this happened to me, so on and so mm. on. But it's more accept. I mean, it shouldn't be accepted, but it's more accepted for a girl to come out and be like, this happened to me. Whereas yeah. it's not accepted for a guy to come out because if a guy comes out, all of a sudden you're less of a man all of a sudden as i said your sexuality is questioned and then it's like now now you've lost your your friends mm. and you're considered this and you're considered that and i don't think that's fair and i think that's why men's depression rates are quite high yeah and i think like um it wouldn't even shock me if like there's a high number of men that have been like assaulted sexually assaulted but you won't even know because most of them don't come out because you have responses like, well, we're similar to the ones that happened to Michael. So yeah, it is a twisted world we live in. 
Stay safe. Stay safe in these streets, please, guys. No means no. L- no, literally, no means no. No means and can we highlight because I got told this the other day. No means no, like in all contexts, in all situations. If you're in a relationship, no means no. If mm-hmm. you're single, no means no. If you're outside by yourself, if you're wearing a tracksuit, if you're wearing jogging bottoms, if you're wearing the shortest skirts or the highest shorts ever, no means no. Mm-hmm. And that's for sorry. Even sorry, let me um relate to the guys. If you're wearing grey joggers, no <laughs> sorry. If you're wearing white tees, no means no. If you're wearing, um, I did not expect you to say grey joggers. If you're wearing, if you're wearing, you know them shorts that the girls like. You know the tracksuit bottom shorts. The grey shorts. The grey ones. If you're wearing, the, so if you're wearing the why, silver chain. If you're wearing the woman beater, I don't know why those vests are called that. Yeah, the white vests. But, you know, no means no. no. Means no. If you've just gotten a trim and it looks mad no nice, means no, no means no. If you've got the one piercing, no, no means, means no. no. If you've got that canine grill, All right, no you. means no. It's about okay. Thank you. We, I think they get the gist. If you got those fresh white All air forces, right. I was you know I was thinking of white air forces, but I thought really look good in a white air force. You know it's true. But in all like situations, in all contexts, in all COVID, in all Hairstyles. No means no, please. N O. What does that spell? If no. If you go against my no, I will call the police. Yeah, let's. It's I'll like, like guys. I understand public embarrassment and public shame, but let's stop putting these people in jail. Come no. on, let's let's report them to the Federlinis. Like, cause you're you're publicly um what's it called? Exposing them, but they're still roaming the streets. Yeah. Let's it, you can do both at this if you want to. You can publicly expose and jail your time. Come on, best of both worlds. Me personally, I wouldn't take it to the public though, because then everyone knows your business. But I'm not God judging forbid. anyone that does. Yeah, God forbid. And then at the same time, some people don't even know that they've been essayed. What's going on? Sorry. I had a flashback. <laughs> That's that. not even I funny. I shouldn't laugh about it. Sorry. Do you know it's because I remember I told that girl that I didn't know that girl was like. Oh yeah, I'm the one who let her know. <laughs> I said Rachel, like, I'm this sorry to situation. tell you this. But that that's videos. if it's not essay, then it's sexual harassment. <laughs> Anyways, on to other situations that are going on in the world. Um, guys, vote. Who are you voting for? Um, I don't know who I vote for. If Jeremy Corbyn was running with the Labour, would have been there. Labour Jeremy Party Corbyn and Green Party are kind of aligned with their their things. Is it? Yeah. No, but the thing with Labour is, I know the guy that's running for Labour. He said that he wants to get rid of zero hour contract jobs. Oh. Now, sir, let me talk to you for a bit. <laughs> let me let's have a conversation because I don't know how people feel about zero hour. I'm a big fan. Because she's on zero hour, but she does. Students as well. Yeah, they work a lot for students. They work a lot for like... People with kids. People with, yeah. They, I, 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 do you know, I also understand why people say zero hour contracts are like close to modern day slavery because you do get crazy hour hours. And but you can also, say no to them. You can say no to them, but it's also the fact that you could have like it's it's inconsistent. Mm-hmm. That's the downside of zero hour. Like you can have that, a week yeah. where you've worked thirty eight hours, fifty hours, but within that same month, that next week you've worked five, mm. and it's like, how how you got to pay your bills? That's yeah. True. So I get that. But then at the same time, taking away those zero hour contract, then people generally won't be able to pay their bills. Exactly. So I'm. I don't know what his name is. What is that man's name? But I forgot. The guy that's running for Labour, let's have a conversation. About this but at the same time, I'd rather vote for Labour than vote for the Conservatives. Yeah, I'm not a Tory, babe. Tories don't come for me. I don't, think, I don't think most of them want to get near you. I'm sure they're not fans of the Blacks. Are, are Tories, like, left-wing? Are they, like, the Republicans? I don't really understand. Like, I understand politics, but I don't really understand it, like... 
Because you know what it is? When it comes to politics, there's not necessarily a good guy or a bad guy. Mm-hmm. Like, you guys are just people that you speak promises and then half of them you don't even... Fulfill the policies yeah. that you, you're playing out. So it's like, sometimes I just be voting for who my parents are voting for. Yeah. That's so true. The, the letters even... Come. Huh? I voted for Sadiq Khan. My Please. Dad, my dad was not in the mood for it. I don't know. It's it's kind of hard. I'm, I'm I'm also just a gal. Like I don't know who to vote for. If I don't vote. Your one vote could make the difference. Your one right. vote could break the tie if there was one. Right. I I think you know. I don't. Maybe I'll keep my political views to myself because I just don't even believe in Rishi Sunak. I don't either. Because he passed that whole Rwanda thing. I didn't even really look into that, but... He even wants to make the 18-year-olds do go into military na- training. National service. Yeah, like South Korea. Like, where did he even pick up... But do you know what that kind of says? That, that's kind of scary. Because you want people to go... You want, Is it just men? I don't... That's the part I don't know. But at the same time, there's an option for you to do the national service yeah. or for you to do, like, a certain amount of hours of voluntary community service. Because it's... So like the jail people coming out to do community service. <laughs> Sorry. It sounds like you guys want the younger people to prepare for something that we don't know about yet. Oh, we know about it. No, they've been saying that they might start enlisting people to go into war. So... They, they, have they not been saying that? Um, and every even then, there was that whole thing on TikTok, everyone making jokes about how, oh, how yeah, we'll be yeah, in the yeah. war. Um, but I think... Because let me tell you something. Like I'm scared ago. of spiders. You think I can go to war? Let's talk about yeah, it. we said it about three episodes ago. What episode is this? Never mind. It's we an episode. It, <laughs> we said it like three, three or four episodes ago. Put us in the kitchen. Don't expect me to be on the front line. Yes. And I mean it. You want chocolate? I'll make it from scratch. Honestly, Nara, Nara Smith. Nara Smith me. Though. Come on. You ran out of toothpaste? Let's get the ingredients. I can make you a toothpaste. Hello. Hi. Hi. But, yeah. Three course di- meals every day. Come on. If, Give me the apron. If you want me to make water, I'll find a way. <laughs> if you want me to make water watch Rachel next episode if you want me to change water into wine Jesus did that that's not me <laughs> but yeah um, what's your favourite dish I'll cook it for you honestly I'll even spice up a bit please someone might think we're flirting oh my gosh I think people also think that's flirting oh it's so I think brother like what are you what are you not like standards like as a, <laughs> not even standards like what oh, I don't even know how to Rachel it is I tell people yeah Rachel's I'll make funny. you food blah 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 I'm not flirting with you I just genuinely like to cook food and give it to people ask Danielle I had to say Danielle come to my house I'll just make you food she does like I'm ready for it please I've said I'm gonna cook for people I hope don't ever think I'm flirting with you Mm-hmm. I feel like if I no, even even if I was flirting with you, you wouldn't know because I wouldn't know either. Cap, sorry, <laughs> sorry. Because Danielle is saying cap, but Danielle is just as bad as me. Excuse you. She's just as bad as me. Excuse you. You're excused. Hello. I don't know what she's talking about. Yeah, you don't think you're gonna try to throw me under the bus? I don't Sorry, you I just need you to remember. A couple minutes ago, we both said we don't flirt with people. You I don't even know what this is, just out guys. It, you said it. This is. I told you that was an accident. It was just a reflex. My bad. Force of habit. <laughs> Force of habit. Oh my gosh, guys! I probably couldn't even flirt with a guy that I even liked. I start laughing. No, it's lie. It's a lie. <laughs> I don't even like guys. I do like. Oh, I like men. Cause that was I about to like be like scary. Men. Yeah, I, I like. Men. <laughs> Nigerian <laughs> wants to be specific. Oh, I'm sorry. Black wants to be specific. 
Rachel keeps on saying she'll broaden her horizons, but she's a liar. Don't believe her. Guys, honestly, I'm not a liar by trade. It's just sometimes I say things, you know, to spice things up a bit, but... Spice up the storyline, because she's in on it with the the script writers. Whatever. (laughs) I know the truth, and you should also know the truth. So, yeah. I'm not a liar. All I have to say, yeah, I feel like me and Rachel... If we like someone and we're genuinely flirting, you will know. Yeah. You won't have to question it. You will know. Let me tell you something. You might have to question it. Oh, yeah. Just for confirmation. Like, at the start, you'll be like, hold on. But as you see, it's a continuous thing. Yeah. Like, we're reciprocating your energy and we're reciprocating it well. Oh, Danielle, sorry. I'm actually thinking about it. I think we might actually be the problem with it. What? I can't lie. Sometimes I reciprocate energies for fun. Spice up the narrative. Do you know? Just don't take me in, guys. Yeah. Don't believe me today. I don't even believe myself. Yeah. No, do you know what it is? It's over the phone. Like, it's harder. Do you know? I flirt. (laughs) Guys, just don't take me in right now, man. I'm on a walk of singleness. Let me be frank and let me darn well be Lampard. Me and Rachel don't actually flirt until we we think like we wish strong in our mind that the other person is flirting back. Yeah. And then we'll sprinkle our little reciprocated energy just yeah. to see the reaction. The waters, yeah. And if we're like, okay, this person's still behaving that way, this is safe playing. Then we know what's going on. And then maybe one day they will decide to be like, oh, bish, bash, bosh. Yeah. But but we're then, not ones to ask the question. I'm not the leader. As a man, you want to be the leader. Lead and ask. Period. Set pace. Please. <laughs> that ever expects us to come from me. Because they never will. Yeah. Let me tell you something for Let free. Let me tell you something for free. Oh, gosh. I don't even know how we ended up back there. <laughs> I don't know either. When I'm editing this, I'll probably figure that out. <laughs> but guys, who's tapped into Love Island? I haven't been tapped in. I haven't yeah. watched it, but it's all over TikTok. Goodness gracious me. What's been... I, don't, I, just, I just know there's the three Nigerians in there. Who? I don't even know if they're all Nigerian. There's the Ayo guy. Yeah. He's Nigerian. Is Mimi Nigerian? No, Mimi's from Zim. Oh, she's your people? Yeah. But oh. she's Shona. Oh... Tafara, that's a Shona name, I'm pretty sure. Correct me if I'm wrong, that's people. region of Africa. Um, and who's the other girl? Uma. She's yeah. Nigerian. She's, apparently, from what I'm seeing on TikTok, she keeps calling him Yo-Yo. First, she Is was like... Ayo already a- Yeah, for my Yoma day. And then Shona to Ayo. But first, she called him Ayo. And then she now calls him Yo-Yo. I'm she sorry, calls I'm Joey better. Essex Jojo. And then she calls Mimi memes. Ah, that's just being lazy. That's being lazy. Yeah. Anyways, I don't really know what's going on. Joey Essex ended up in Love Island. Is it Joey Essex at 33? I don't know. He's been on our screens for a while. Um, All I keep seeing is Mimi, um, Ayo and Uma. Mimi, Ayo, Uma. It's just like, wow, the blacks are in a love triangle. You know what? Maybe we'll watch it. We'll catch up this week. I don't have work this week, though. I have work on Friday. <laughs> but it's not long shifts this week. I don't think. Well, guys, we'll, get no, your we'll money up. up this week. We'll catch up this week. And then next episode... Debrief. We'll come back. Yeah, we'll give back a proper debrief. Because it looks good, but it's like... Love Island... To be honest, I asked my friend... And he was like, it's, it has its good moments and it has its mm. rubbish moments. So sometimes it's just background noise. And then when you hear something, it's like, okay, let me tap in. Well, that's, I feel like that's always, especially like the first week or so of Love Island. I just, I, I'm not in the mood to see someone crying on day three. Like, why are we crying on day three? Crying on national TV over a guy. I don't think that's in my nature. Yucky. Ew, smelly. Like... I get it, be annoyed, but crying. No, no man is worth your tears. <laughs> Sorry. 
don't even know what that's from. I, I, that's why I started laughing because I just I think I just hear it everywhere. Yeah. Um, yeah. Sorry, Love Island. It doesn't see. To be fair, I've been working back and forth. By the time I get home, I can't count. No, I hear it. I hear. I mean, I don't, but I hear it. Yeah. Especially I'm, with your long hours. Yeah. By the time I get home, I'm done with the day. Rachel will get home at like ten thirty and start whipping up a meal. That was only Monday. Oh. And that's because I had to cook for me, my brother. My brother and I. That was bad. <laughs> Guys, I feel like we've had like I feel like once in a while, once every couple of episodes we should have a catch up. Yeah. Don't you think? You have especially like a funny one. Yeah, especially when we disappear for a little while. Yeah, but we said this last time that we'll be back on our consistent things. But guys, things were a bit all over the place, but now we'll be back on our consistent thing. Yeah, fingers yeah, crossed. We really try to be consistent. Don't hold me to that. Life be life is sometimes you know. Life and heavy. Life like sometimes kicks I you in the work. backside. Sometimes I have work. Schedules get mixed up. We need to um, complete the priorities that we have prior yeah. to coming and completing this priority not like not that you guys aren't priorities or anything but if i've got prior priorities if i've got something that's making me money yeah i'm going to take that yeah we need money to come here and film you get hopefully you guys get and if you don't if you don't get it forget about it <laughs> But yeah, I feel like this was like a little catch-up session. Yeah. Hopefully next week when we come back, our hair's done. Because guys, honestly... Oh, I cool. should be braiding my hair tomorrow, guys. I want to say, you know, shout out you big girl news, yeah? Shout out you guys hard. Because I hate this. Oh. I, hate this. I can't do this anymore. There's a no. reason why I have braids all the time. I hear it because I hopped back onto the braid live. Oh, it's a shame. These people didn't see me with that, I don't think. They were going to until our other episode, the footage messed Last. up. Mm. But I hear it because I was yeah. I was a wig girly, and then I hopped back onto the braids, and then I changed it and did twists, and then I was like, "This is so, all I need to do is wake up and do my baby hairs." Sometimes you don't even need to do them, but this wig life. It's like you have to style the hair, especially when you've got curly hair. You have to wear it. You've got to add your products to it, style it. If you've got the frontal, you have to make sure that the the lace is laid and so on and so on. It's it's so much extra work in the morning for no reason. No, shout out to you with girly friends. You you guys are stronger than I am. But I'm saying this like I'm not going to hop back onto wings one day. I'm not. No but business. maybe I need. I'm going to braid my hair tomorrow. This Bob, yeah, if he, it, it what's your name? Be your beast? Are they calling you Bob? Sorry, <laughs> sending me into sensory overload sometimes, man. They be touching the back of my neck, and I can't take it anymore. Anyway, back on my braids. That's how you guys see me. My hair would look like this. Anyways, guys, this stay was, safe. As I said, this was a cute little catch up. Stay safe. Stay blessed. Travel loads. Stay protected. Say no. Say no. Well, and accept. You don't have to say no. Oh, if you just, want to say no, don't to shy say. away from saying the no. Yeah. And then if someone says no to you, listen and listen well before you become a criminal. Consent is consent. And honestly, I will take you to jail. And if jail doesn't work, I have brothers. And her brother's like me. So even though I don't have brothers, so I've got friends brothers. and I've got her yeah, yeah technically i have the brothers so period oh wait no the police might be watching um no we're no not violence. saying yeah we're not saying they would do we anything do that would harm you no we'll just have a good talking to you period but yeah guys stay blessed stay safe if there's any topics you want us to discuss leave it let in the comments know. below and guys let's be subscribing please yeah Let's be sharing as well, especially, especially you people that know us and you're not sharing our content. I know who you are. Don't let me say your names. Yeah, because it's bare rude. I'm not scared of you. That is real nasty work. Anyways, thanks for watching. Tune into the next episode, and tune into our Spotify as well, guys, because these yeah. episodes they're on Spotify too. You just won't see our faces. So just. Yeah, but maybe they come here because they see our faces. But some some of you travel. I know you travel to work. 
you can be listening yeah in your your airpods in let your headphones know, let us know if there's any like guests you guys want us to see mm-hmm. i mean we've got a few in mind but we don't know because obviously social anxiety and then <laughs> but yeah let us know who you guys want to see on here yeah and if any of you ever wanted to come on and you guys do something yeah don't be scared of us just pop us a message (laughs) that's the reality of it no literally anyways guys guys. thanks for tuning in bye and girls stop sleeping with your boy best friends thanks bye guys